to the channel. I am CS the Viking Gamer, and today on Let's Paint, we are going to paint up an Arch Defiler on Hellstalker. Today we're going to be using Retributor Armor, Lead Belcher, Balthazar Gold, Abaddon Black, and for contrasts, Basilicum Gray, Snakebite Leather, Black Templar, Gore Grunt of Fur, and Flesh Terrors Red. And we're going to finish it all off with no oil shade. We start things off with Black Templar, and we're going to use this to coat the entire underside of the Stalker. Now I'm taking a particular focus on the back of each of the legs, as well as the underside of the struts leading to the legs, since those are going to be extremely difficult to paint once the model gets glued back onto the base. And now we're going to use some Retributor Armor. We're going to touch up a couple of small details on the underside. Uh, this is going to be a couple uh, ventilation areas and the four spikes that are protruding from the bottom of the model. And now using Lead Belcher, we're going to hit up each of the uh, pipes and hoses that are on the underside of the model. Now, there's a lot of these, and it's okay, uh, like always, if you miss one to go back and touch it up later. But I wanted to hit all the areas that were going to be extremely difficult once the model was glued on the base, because once it was glued, it was not going to be easy to get to a lot of these places. So the more you can get before it goes back onto the base, the easier time you're going to have once it is on the base. Also, I cannot stress how pleased I am with this uh, model clamp that I got from Games Workshop. It made this process a lot easier since I didn't have to physically hold the model the entire time I was painting the underside. And now we're going to switch to Balthazar Gold and I'm going to hit some of the uh, exposed sheathing sections on the wires and there's a few detail areas that we're going to touch up on the bottom as well. Uh, this is anything that looks like a grill or a grate. And I also realized that it was a lot easier to paint these pieces without the model in the jig so I went ahead and removed it from the jig. I also went ahead and painted some of the 
uh, mechanical bits on the struts leading to each of the legs. This will give some nice detail uh, that you can mostly see when the model is attached to the base without being really heavy handed with the paint. I've found that the key with darker models like this one's going to end up being is that you want uh, some contrasting colors to draw attention to various areas without it looking like you're going extremely heavy on a lot of different colors. Now that we're finished with the underside of the model, we attach it to the base and then go over the top of the Hellstalker with Black Templar. Now this is going to be all the armor plating, uh, so we're going to hit all four, five, six of the legs, and then we're going to hit uh, the shoulder plates, all the armor plates connecting to the legs, and the entire spine. Now it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of spillover onto some of the other pieces of the model with this paint because most of the rest is going to get touched up or covered over with uh, base or layer paints. So it's just going to coat right over the contrast without any issue. So here we're using Basilicanum Grey to get the top section of the Chainsword Staff. And now because I wanted the Space Marine himself to be a little bit different color than the rest of the model, he's getting uh, all of his armor plating done in Abaddon Black. This will give it that appearance that maybe the Hellstalker is a little bit older or uh, the armor is a little bit... Uh, more battle-worn stuff like that, or maybe the Space Marine has just gotten a fresh coat of paint recently, and the Hellstalker, no one really cares if it gets a fresh coat of paint. You know, that kind of thing. And now we're going to grab Retributor Armor and hit up all of the highlights for the armor plating. Now this is going to be a lot of the detail work for the model and as always whenever painting Black Legion, this tends to be the section of the model that takes the longest to complete.
There's a lot of armor plating sections on this model, and we're going to edge each one. Now there's a distinct line on the model that I'm using as a guide. So each of these armor sections uh, kind of has like a overlay framework of metal, and that's what I'm painting.
And now that that's done, we're going to use Flesh Terror's Red to paint his cloak. As well as the flag atop his trophy rack. using the Flesh Terror's red instead of some of the other reds that are available because it's a very strong contrast to the rest of the dark portions of the model. Next we're going to use Gore Grunt of Fur to paint this little fur tuft hanging off the top of his staff. Follow that up with Iron Warriors, and that's going to be used to paint a couple of these chainmail sections that are draping down the front of the model, and a couple of chains and detail bits around the rest of the model. And I like the idea that the uh, spikes and kind of fangs sticking out the front of the model here uh, would be a slightly different color than the lead belcher that I use elsewhere. So I painted those in the Iron Warriors as well. Now we go back to Lead Belcher and we're going to paint the rest of the hoses that we can get to from the top side now on the lower section of the model. We're also going to paint these three uh, kind of tentacle metallic spines coming out the back of the defiler uh, in Lead Belcher, giving him almost that evil Spider-Man villain look. Now that those are done, we're going to paint a part of the upper section of the staff here, including the trigger for the chainsword. And while we're at it, hit up the fingertips and the top of the headdress on the model. Alright, now switching back to Iron Warriors, I painted his face mask and the hose coming out of it. And now using snakebite leather, I'm painting the uh, kind of harness strap that he's using to kind of command the Hellstalker. As well as his gun holster. The seat of the Hellstalker, his staff, and a bag on his belt. All 
right, now switching back to Balthazar Gold, I'm going to paint the rest of the front tendrils on the Hellstalker. This will help the kind of fangs and points at the front stand out. And then there's these three kind of globe things on the back of the Hellstalker. I'm painting those in Balthazar Gold as well. This will be a very strong contrast once the rest of the hoses are painted in Lead Belcher later. And while we're at it, paint the tip of this gun as well as the grill on the side. This will give a Balthazar Gold inlay once we paint over the rest of that section of the gun. I also decided to paint the uh, kind of exhaust ports on the back of the Hellstalker in Balthazar Gold. The key to doing stuff like this is uh, breaking up the clusters of color so that it doesn't look like all the same color is concentrated in one spot. But you also have to be consistent. If you're going to paint one uh, particular detail in a color, you kind of need to go over the rest of that same detail in the same color just to kind of keep that pattern going. But as with all things painting, this is just a guideline and always feel free to let your creative side out and paint however you feel is appropriate. So now we go back to Lead Belcher, and we're going to hit up a little bit more of the details on the gun itself. So we're going to paint the lower hose off the gun, as well as uh, the grill section towards the front of the gun. Now you have to be cautious in this area so that you don't accidentally paint over uh, the inlay that was put in earlier. And then we paint all of the hoses going in, out, and around the globes on the back of the Hellstalker. And then we're going to paint the exhaust pipes on the back just to give it a nice pop. And then some quick touches on the rest of the gun. And now we're going to go back to Retributor Armor. And this is going to touch up some of the areas that were missed on the Hellstalker, as well as a few other areas on the rest of the model.
switching back to the Balthazar Gold, we touch up the last couple of bits on the gun itself, as well as the hoses coming out of it. And then on the kind of eye uh, stand, I guess you could call it, on the back of the defiler, uh, we touch up most of the uh, stand itself, as well as a couple of the areas leading to and from it. And then some of the detail hoses on the back of the backpack, as well as all the ventilation grills. Some final touch-ups using the snakebite leather on the hand grips of the gun. And now we're going to use the Basilicanum Gray to uh, hit the support posts for the trophy rack. Some last touches with the Retributor Armor. Just touching up the bottom of the shoulder pads to give it a nice uniform look. And then a couple of touches with the Balthazar Gold to finish up any missed detail work. And then touch up the last couple of hoses and the eye on the eye support. as well as a few caps and kind of tops and bottoms of a few of the tanks. And now we're going to use Agros Dunes to kind of unify, unify the uh, super glue with the rest of the base. And now using Skeleton Horde, we're gonna go over all the skulls. And now the entire base gets a coating in Agrax Earthshade. Once the base is done, we're going to touch up each of the skulls with this as well. And while the base is drying, we give the rest of the model a decent coating in null oil. This will help to unify the rest of the model and uh, cover up any areas that might have been missed but weren't noticed.
here we have the finished model. Alright everyone, thank you for tuning in and watching the painting of the Arch Defiler on Hellstalker. This was a lot of fun to put together in paint, so please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, and comment in the comment section, and we will see you in the next one. This is CS the Viking Gamer signing off. Remember, victory or Valhalla.